the Northwest House of Representative members elect from the Northwest Geopolitical Zone comprising Kanu, Kaduna, Kastina, Zamfara, KB, Jigawa, and Sokoto State, in respective of political affiliation, has endorsed Right Honorable Tajuddin Abbas as Speaker for the 10th Assembly. This declaration was made during a conference at the nation's capital by the Northwest Coordinating Forum for Honorable Abbas Tajuddin. Honorable Tajuddin is a teacher, manager of men and resources, who has sponsored 74 bills and motions in the 9th Assembly. And this actually shows that our product is a saleable product. The humility and listening ability, coupled with his parliamentary experience, is worthy of population. In the last few days, I have noticed that Tajuddin Abbas is diligent. You say that Tajuddin Abbas is patient. In the last few days, I have noticed that he's a patient man. You say that money does not control him. In the last few days I've related with him, I have noticed that truly, money does not control this man. You say that he is a nationalist. In the last few days I have seen that he does not discriminate. And if that is the man you are giving to Nigerians, I wish to pledge that as his deputy, I will give him all the support that he needs to succeed. I wish to pledge that as his deputy, I will make sure that if there are gaps, that I will fill up those gaps with dignity and to make sure that we achieve our sole target of nation building. This is a man that we need at the moment especially if the party says so. Supremacy of the party is what we have pledged to bow to. We will work with him till the end, and I can assure you that the 10th Assembly will be better than the 9th Assembly. And to on a final note, use this opportunity to reiterate my position and reasons why, even when I started, as an aspirant for the speakership of the 10th House of Representatives, I decided to step down for Right Honorable Taji Dilabar. One, my respected colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, I have been a party man. I have also been a man of establishment. Wherever I belong, I have respect and regard for the institution that I belong. I also have overall an absolute commitment and respect for what we call the party supremacy. I also rise here proudly to tell you that I was also a beneficiary, a beneficiary of same arrangement that now brought up that regime to be the speaker of the 10th House of Representatives. Your Excellencies, distinguished honorable colleagues, in the 10th Assembly we have sat down and come up with a 16-point agenda. 16-point agenda, which encompasses every aspect of our legislative duties. This document talks about almost every aspect of our own uh, social and human endeavors. And it includes all the thorny areas that Nigerians are begging for answers. We will unfold that legislative agenda, inshallah, before June 13, for you to peruse and also make your own inputs. Again, for those of us who have been in the National Assembly for long, you will all agree with me that the welfare of members has not actually increased in spite of inflation over the years. I remember in 2011, what uh, we used to collect as a uh, running cost has not changed. 12 years now is the same amount. And if you look at uh, how much that money, uh, that, that amount could uh, fetch you and what you could be able to buy with it today, you will all agree with me that um, uh, it is uh, abysmally low at this time. So I want to inform you 
that part of the things that we will do in the next assembly is to ensure an improved welfare for all members of the House of Representatives. It is not just the running cost. We realize that capital projects are also very critical to our survival, very critical to our acceptance by our own people. We will do everything humanly possible to ensure that um, members' capital projects are enhanced and they are made in such a way that they will add value to the constituencies that we are coming from. It will not be money that will be added that will go to anybody's pocket, but monies that will be added to the capital projects to enhance the living standard of our constituents. Honorable colleagues, I want to use this opportunity to inform you that there is nothing that is impossible in the National Assembly for as long as there is a harmonious relationship between the legislator and the executive. Anyone that will tell you that he can be able to deliver on his promises, to deliver on good governance, to deliver on improved welfare, is telling you lies or lies if he has harmonious relationship with the executive. 